Let's go back to Mars. A two kilogram object weighs 19.6 newtons on Earth. If the acceleration due to gravity on Mars is 3.71 meters per second squared, what is the object's mass on Mars? Oh, I love these questions. They're so simple but meant to trick you and it's so easy to fall into the trap. It asks you what's the object's mass on Mars. The mass hasn't changed. The weight may have changed, but its mass is still two kilograms. Don't get suckered into those tricks. Your find is the same as your given. One more. Here we have two satellites. The diagram shows the two satellites, both of equal mass, A and B, in circular orbits around a planet here. Compare the magnitude of the gravitational force of attraction between A and the planet. Find the magnitude of the gravitational force of attraction between B and the planet. Well, first thing, since B is further away, it should be pretty obvious that it's going to have a smaller force. Okay? Right away, twice as great, four times as great, we can eliminate. Now, because of that inverse square law, we're going from radius r to 2r, we're doubling the distance, we must have one-fourth the force. Answer number three, inverse square law. And there are lots of different ways you can go through and solve that. Um, you can go through and do it analytically, you can make up numbers for them, but the easiest way is if you understand the inverse square law, you can realize right away as the distance doubles, the force becomes one-fourth. Hopefully that gets you a great start on gravity and Newton's law of universal gravitation. Thank you so much for your time and make it a great day.